Hey everybody, and welcome back to CATS, Contemporary Art Talk Show, C-A-T-S. Um, today we've got some artists, we're going to show you uh, who they are, what they're about, and kind of we're going to talk a little bit about their composition. Kind of the way we do things on here, is okay. we show you what contemporary art is, because some people live in rural towns, yeah, like or, I don't know. Um, might not have access to what contemporary art is. It's new, it's fresh, it's exciting. First one we have up here is by Tori Thornton. Thornton. This one's crazy. There's some kind of green object going on down here. Now, if you show this one to your uncle, he might have flashbacks because it looks like Vietnam. Yeah, no kidding. That's actually a really good point. So. It's very, uh, very military. POW, which is prisoner of war, MIA, which is missing in action. Mm -hmm. got the camel on today. Yeah, I got the camel on. I also have camel on. Um, there's a lemon. So I, what's what's up with the lemon? That's interesting. There's an interesting twist, lemon twist on the whole composition. Okay, it's kind of saying how sour the war was. Or I'm pretty sure it's Vietnam theme, but I'm not mm -hmm. positive. There's okay. symbols. Do we know what it's called? This piece is called? No, no idea. Who did this? I can find out. We can put it on the bottom of the screen later. Yeah. Right. Tori Thornton. Right here. Okay, one interesting thing with contemporary painters, they like to do a little trick. They'll do scumbling. They'll like squirt paint right out of the tube and scumble it. Then they might follow up with some airbrush, followed by some delicate watercolor. Oh, cool. So I it's a medley of different textures happening at the same time. That's cool. Which you can kind of see going on in the foreground and They're background all over, here. All over here. I wonder if this is going to show. What? Oh. Okay. Yeah, so I like that one. So How you do you do? You want to give it two thumbs up? Or four thumbs up? Oh, this one. I give it one thumb and one pinky finger up. Yeah. I hanged him. This one's good. All right, this one is by it's Wrinkle like, my Decker. Kid, my kids are like this one. It's like the Minions from the, the Despicable Me movie. Yeah. yeah. This one's got um, graphic design elements, arrow. We all know they make staplers. They make really high quality staplers. That's fine. Um, there's some cartoon faces. I like this one a lot. I like the composition. I like the camouflage in the background. We're still staying with the army we're, theme here. You're kind of getting back into that old habit you had where you say you like. Well, rather than talking about specific points that make the composition successful or not successful. I like how there's kind of like camouflage looking um, areas you around. You to say I like there's camouflage. I was just saying the same thing. Good point. Yeah. So what do I enjoy. Like, what I enjoy the camouflage. You just change the right. The outlines, the solid colors. The very on graphic. Uh, don't touch that. A lot of going on with this one. Mm -hmm. A lot going on. A lot going for it. Who's that one by? It's by Wrinkle Decker. Oh wow. Wow. This is our, this is our third and final image of the day. Real folks. Yeah, Jay hasn't seen this one. I kind of surprised him with this image. Wow. So is it, number one, is it art? Number two, if it is, what kind of art is it? Number three, is it successful? Um, I'm going to go with, no all, with all of those. This is not art. This is not successful. Uh, I don't know. It's a banana watch. Yeah, I have to agree. I think this guy... Gene, Gene Beery, is basically taking a piss on contemporary art by saying, hey, this looks like a sculpture or an artistic photograph, but really it's fashion it's design. It's, this should be in a fashion design magazine. It's not fine art. It's not contemporary art. Um, it's a wilted banana. It's a wilted banana watch is all it is. Huh. One good thing, though, he, he, he managed to to slice this banana without taking the skin off, it looks like. That's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. I also like that Gene has very like calloused uh, working hands, which I enjoy. Uh, apparently Gene works hard, he just didn't work hard on this piece. One kind of cool redeeming factor is it talks about time. So how long is something contemporary? And this one obviously is not that old because the banana is not even rotten yet. Bananas age really fast on a counter, so we know that this one's pretty darn fresh. Right. Um, you might want to check for diabetes, though. His hands look a little swollen. 
They indeed do look a little small. Little medical uh, devices. Just mm. maybe get check, checked out. Spots, maybe wear uh, some sunscreen, G. But, uh, you know what? I, I, it's okay. I like this one. Little recap. First of all, we had a Vietnam painting with a lemon in it and a helicopter. We both give it thumbs up. Thumbs up. Second, we had camouflage, graphic design. Thumbs up. Smiley faces and maybe like a Mrs. Potato Head. Smiley or lips. Or something. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thirdly, we have Gene. Gene Beery. Last name's kind of cool. It's like Beery. That is wow. Awesome, actually. Um, He's going to make it. Basically got disqualified because it's not contemporary art. It's something... It's, it may be high fashion or uh, trick photography, but it's not good to burn. Uh -uh. So but, that's like a... But I still give him a thumbs up. Yeah, he seems like up. a pretty chill dude. Pretty fresh. And, uh, Big thanks to all our artists out there, and um, hope you enjoyed this episode.